Hey, I'm Mike Velez uh, at Smile Conference here, Social Media Law Enforcement Internet Conference in Santa Monica, California. Uh, I uh, had an opportunity to talk with Mike Alderson here about biometric facial recognition, a mobile solution from Airborne Biometrics, and he asked me to talk to you a little bit about it. So I'm going to tell you what the solution does. Now, uh, Airborne Biometrics is a small uh, biometric company out of um, Camarillo, California, and they are not so much as much of a facial recognition solution as they are uh, a mobile software solution or a software solution to take facial recognition to the mobile level, to the mobile platform. Um, obviously, our world's mobile with smartphones, Androids, and Blackberries, and other devices, iPads and tablets, that um, it's really very relevant. So how does this, this, this work? Uh, Face First is the, is the proprietary uh, software solution, and how it works is it uh, is used with mobile capture, mobile video, or images, as well as a, a camera. Uh, it can be used with uh, current CCC television uh, uh, camcorders or camcorder. So places that already have re uh, video recorders intact in outside of buildings, those can all tie in. Once a, a, a facial uh, a, a picture is taken or a video is taken, it goes into a database. These databases can be pre-existing or, or, or made up from enrollees. Enrollments would be a, an image put into the system with some identifying information. But essentially, here's how it works. Um, say we have a database, uh, say we're going to use the uh, LA County Jails database. Very big database, I don't know how many names, but it's got well over several million names, of, of course, of people who have been arrested uh, previously. Uh, say that we have access to that database, I have this iPhone, I go to a crowd, maybe it's a, 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 disp a civil unrest, and I start capturing pictures of people, and uh, those pictures go immediately into the database and search for uh, a, a hit. And what happens is the hit comes to the, uh, the, the whoever the uh, person to be alerted is based on threshold and based on um, your, 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 uh, your list of distribution lists for, for alerts, and that happens real time. We're talking within five to 10 seconds of the image captured and being run through the system. So as you can see, take this to the future when law enforcement officers, uh, here's, my, here's one of my favorite future uses for this. There's a lapel camera on a law enforcement officer. And he walks up to a vehicle that may have four or five people in it. He's able to scan the vehicle quickly <clears throat> with the camera taking a facial shot or a video of each one of those people, running it through a pre-existing database, and immediately getting a text message or an email on his smartphone on his hip telling him, or it will only alert him if somebody in that car is wanted, or if he's got something to contend with that may be a want, like a wanted person or a predator or a, 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 a sexual offender or something that he needs to know about. Um, very cool. Uh, software solution for the mobile and I see a lot of applications for it in, in the areas of terrorism and uh, being cameras being placed out in front of, uh, of government buildings and places like that in places where there's um, lots of people malls uh, airlines uh, before you get onto a plane but you know in the screening process this will probably be integrated at the checkpoints in the future but uh, definitely a cool solution and a safe solution and one that will protect people so I hope you enjoyed that explanation of Face First, and uh, uh, thanks, Mike, for uh, taking the time to talk to me.